29-year-old Jamie Wilding from Harpenton receives his regular checks at home from Sarah Wall from the Hertfordshire Community Cardiology Team. He was diagnosed with high cholesterol aged just 11, but then underwent two liver transplants, a double heart bypass and an aortic valve replacement. In 2017, he was told he had heart failure. Specialists said he wouldn't survive a heart transplant and that he had until last summer to live. So things like cancer are very well reported and you know what happens and you know the outcomes and the cures that there could be. But with heart failure, there's none of that. It's very kind of unknown. You know, if you say to someone, oh, I've got heart failure, they don't really get what it is. He may be living on borrowed time, but Jamie is now determined to raise awareness to this silent killer disease by completing a sponsored walk across the dome of London's O2 Arena with proceeds going to the heart failure charity, Pumping Marvellous. I think a lot of people with heart failure kind of think that's the end of their lives as soon as they get a diagnosis. When, and I did, you know, at, at, at first I thought, well, that's it. And uh, I think to set goals, and especially things like um, my climb as well, it shows you that there isn't really much that can stop you once you put your mind to it. We all know that heart failure is uh, quite progressive in nature and it is a life-limiting disease, but when you're actually told that you've got specifically 12 months to live and you're such a young chap, it must be quite difficult, but Jamie has, um, he's such a nice lad. Um, he's really embraced, you know, his disease and he's kind of got his head round it. Jamie really appreciates the NHS community care he receives and also the love and support from local hospices. They've been amazing. Um, Sarah, she checks up on me quite a bit and obviously with my appointments, um, she's really good and uh, you know it's not like having a professional sat next to you all the time more like a friend and I feel that with um, both Rennie Grove Hospice and Hospice of St Francis as well uh, they're, they're amazing in, in a lot of ways uh, not just for me but for my family too. Life expectancy is starting to improve for those in the UK living with heart failure however Challenges still exist around its accurate diagnosis and the predicted increase in future cases with an ageing population. So we know that the prevalence of heart failure in the UK is greater than the four most common cancers combined. We also know that heart failure has a higher mortality rate than most of the, most cancers as well. So it but it's just hidden and people just don't know about it. And we really, really need to raise the awareness so that we can support these patients better. I find Jamie totally inspirational. Um, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all worrying about the small things in our lives and, and, and Jamie looks, looks at life in, with a completely different perspective to us. And a better perspective, actually. I don't want to climb up the O2 building, thank you very much, on my free Sunday, but he's doing it, and he's doing it to raise awareness, and he's, he's less capable than potentially I am to do that. And that doesn't make me very proud of myself, but it makes me very proud of Jamie and very proud to know him. And how hopeful is Jamie and his sponsored O2 Arena Dome Challenge? It's, I know it's not going to be an easy thing to do, but um, it will be very satisfying to know you know, that I've done it as a personal goal as well as raising money for Pumping Marvellous and helping other people. Mm -hmm.